All right, we got a no cooling call here. Pretty nice house we have worked at before. And uh, it's not our unit, but it's one of the originals. This is the house where we actually had to take that unit out to get that unit in. We got a 20 sear over there in the corner. It's a little bit close to all that. to trim that back inside I remember last time when we were here it's not that bad but we leveled ours up and this one is kind of cockeyed down but we're going to replace it soon enough so anyway the other unit that is on the other end of the house as far as the outside unit and then both furnaces are in the basement, but it is giving trouble now. So we're gonna go down in the basement and see what's going on with the indoor blower. but uh, he has not finished it as of yet and I believe yep here's the other furnace so he says he doesn't have an indoor fan and this guy's pretty sharp he he is, uh, he is a mechanical engineer, I believe. Gee, that's a tall plenum. How about that? Looks like about five feet. So let's open this thing up and see why we don't have a fan. And let's see why somebody put the door on upside down. All right. Looks like a little rusty. Need some water in here. So let's get a jumper wire and keep from going back and forth to the thermostat. All right, I stuck my jumper from red to green. And we'll see. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can spin it. Yep. So, may get lucky and just put a capacitor on it. And if it starts good every time, we'll leave that. And if not, we're going to have to do the motor. So, let's check this capacitor first and see what we got. Hopefully, all this water just came from it freezing up. Fan not running. That's what I hope for. I hate when these things, it's so rare. I mean, I've probably seen it twice in 30 years. This thing somehow holding a charge. Not usually the fan ones doing that, but I've seen the doubles. It would shock you after you turn the power off to the unit but so let's go here to microfarads what the heck is it doing okay and let's look at what this is this is a 7.5 so let's see what it says it is capacitating at. And it is 0 0.11. It ain't even enough to keep it going. So let's go get a 7.5 out of the truck. And let's see if that'll get us going here. 
All right, we got a 7.5 out of the truck. And I have listened at several of us within the community that has opinions on these capacitors. And the thing I agree with is that written right across the bottom there can't be good. So, and I'm not so sure the ones that say made in USA on them. Not positive they're any better, but I sure do tend to want to start trying them. I tell you, in the old days, you bought capacitors. They were by GE or so. I mean, they were just decent no matter what. And I tell you, these seem to last a year or two max. So we'll test it new out of the box before we put it in 7.43. So I'll tell you what. Quality these days. It's really hard to come by in almost anything. That is uh, becoming more and more a fact of professional life. But As they say on the SAT test, the show must go on. Right, that's not what they say. They say on to the next page. But we're going to say the show must go on. And going to see what we can do. To start trying to start trying some of these uh, newer, hopefully better brands of capacitors. So anyway, let's see if we've got this fan where it'll start now. Yeah, she fired up. So the motor is probably okay. But anytime we put a capacitor only in any unit, no matter what, outdoor, indoor, and upside down. We will always explain to the customer it is possible motor has been compromised. Therefore, therefore, we hope we're getting them out cheap. Let's put this thing together and go turn it on. All right, and before I walk off here, I did put the door back on right. It was, it was on upside down. And, uh, oh, I remember those coils. And they had that on the liquid line. And I remember when we had these. Those are handy for a rooftop or an apartment unit or whatever. You can add charge. But, you know, if you're adding charge, you've already got other problems. So let's go turn it on and make sure everything's okay here. been neglected for a while. Boy, 
she makes noise without the filter in it. Looks like we're going to be okay. Right over the thermostat. Okay, so the customer there fully understands that it's possible the motor lost some of its life by uh, trying to run and he smelled it. He actually he actually smelt what he said was an electrical burning smell. And so after he told me all that, I, I told him it might be best to just replace the motor too. But he says, let's just try it. And, uh, and I agreed. I mean, if it runs a week or two, it'll probably be okay. But it's had a hard life. It's, uh, you know, it's not new. And then it heated up enough for him to smell it and turn it off. But nonetheless, uh, that's something I'm willing to do is I'm willing to try the capacitor and see if it'll get them by and save them the expense of the motor. But uh, nonetheless, he's, uh, he's got air. And so he's, he's I, I don't understand. You go to the lower end houses and they want it fixed right. Then you go to the nice higher end houses and they want to, well, let's see if we can get by on it. That's a lot of money, you know, that type thing. So anyway, let's go to the next one. Thanks for watching.